Okay, good evening, everyone. So, 1st of July. I know most of us are shaking our head. How can it be? How can we already be July 1st, 2022? But we are. So that means today we found out what Young Living's uh, July gifts with purchase are. And so we're going to be talking about them. So let me share my screen, hopefully. Can everyone see that? You can? Okay, good. Good. Decent size. So this is the gifts with purchase this month. So starting over here on the left, you will see, um, I'm sorry, it's not a good picture. I cut it off. I didn't even think about that, is the pouch. It's a little um, pouch that will carry up to three essential oil bottles in it. So that'll be cute and handy to have with you in your purse. It's small. Honestly, even three bottles is not very big. So even in a small purse, that would be perfect. Or um, for a young one, a child uh, to be able to take with them when they're back in school or if they're going somewhere overnight to put in their to-go bag or their backpack, that will be perfect. So that's free with everyone who places a hundred dollar, I mean a hundred PV loyalty order, okay? That will be free. Then at 190, we get three things. So I'm going to let Donna, I'm going to leave this screen up, but I'm going to let Donna talk about the two thieves products and then I'll talk about the other. Okay. So at the 190, you're going to get the pouch, then you're going to get the thieves hand sanitizer and a thieves spray. So I will tell you a little bit about these. Um, if you have not used them, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> so most of us that have gotten our kits uh, in the past, I would say two years about, uh, we get, or three years, we get both of these in our um, starter bundles. So mine is all worn out. I, I save these bottles and I just refill it. So this hand sanitizer, I'm gonna show you. All you need is Wow, not that much. A tiny drop, it came out too quick. That, that's, a double, that's a double serving. So uh, it smells amazing. It has that peppermint smell to it. Peppermint oil is in there, but it also has aloe. So it feels really good on your skin. It doesn't dry your, your skin out. And that's why I love it. This bottle lasts a long time and you can always buy the refill if you want. So once you have this, keep it. The Thieves Spray, I keep in my purse. So when I go to the store, I spray down my shopping cart handle. Anything that I'm going to touch when I'm out, uh, if, if you're traveling, uh, this is a good thing to keep with you. Because if some, some of us don't like to go into public restrooms, you can put a little spritz on the door handle if you want before you go in. Um, if you're coming out, you can do the same thing. Uh, keep it with you in your purse, though, or on you, because uh, when you get gas, this is a good thing to keep either one of one or the other to spritz down your hands afterwards. And uh, it also smells really good. Um, this is not for ingestion. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit something later, but because it has denatured alcohol, and denatured alcohol is denatured so you don't want to taste it so kids aren't going to want to drink it but it all it has just awesome ingredients and because it is thieves we know that it has the thieves blend so this also has peppermint plus the thieves blend and this has the thieves blend plus that uh, denatured alcohol so you're getting rid of all the nasties thank you uh, you may have said this but if you didn't i love that spray for shopping carts Mm -hmm. Spray that shopping cart right down for sure. Okay, so the other thing you get at 190 is an oil. And that oil is here. Sleepy eyes. You get the kids scent sleepy eyes. So um, there in that picture, you can see some of the oils that are within this blend, such as lavender, uh, Roman chamomile, both of those very much make me think of sleep and calm and relaxing. And obviously, valerian and rue, those are 
definitely two oils known for their ability to help a person relax and sleep. Um, so all of this is in a blend put together. It is called the Kids Scent Line. Um, so it is already ready that if you wanted to apply this to your little ones, like in the picture, maybe, I don't know if you, maybe not that small, because I would use the seedlings line for the baby, but a toddler or a young one, then I would use the kid scent and you could apply it um, to the bottom of their feet, their big toes, even just on their, their wrist here, let them apply some so they can smell it or give them a back massage. Um, and more importantly, get it going in the diffuser. Set the scene for a calm, relaxing nighttime routine and get it going in that diffuser. It's really recommend that you start about a half an hour before you have your young one go to bed, um, before they even go in that room, maybe they're taking their bath or whatever, then have that diffuser going in their bedroom and they will get their sense of smell and their brain, their limbic system will get used to that scent. And believe it or not, our bodies are amazing at connecting a scent to an event, okay? In this case, connecting that scent to the child's brain waves. Oh, it, it's, it's time to start uh, relaxing, to go to bed. It's really fascinating the studies they do on things like that. So the two thieves, the sleepy eyes, and then that little pouch is at 190. You would get all four of those on your loyalty order. Plus, don't forget, you get your percentage back in, in your Young Living credit that sets in your own little account. That's your account credit that you'll get to use on the shopping spree later on. So then the 250, you get this Kid Power Essential Oil Blend. This is, <laughs> that's my cat if you're Miss Kitty. This is a favorite of many of us. Think Valor with a hint of orange creamsicle. That's a good description I saw today as to how to describe uh, kid power to someone as far as the scent. Love this scent. Very um, relaxing, but yet uplifting at the same time. It may sound like an oxymoron, but it's not. Love the scent but it is very uplifting, even though I do feel like it helps me chill out too. And really that's the purpose of the kid power. When we need courage, maybe we have an event, maybe we're going to be speaking in front of people. Um, it is in the kid scent line. So maybe your young one has a, a school report and they have to stand in front of the class that morning or a big test and they're, they're you know, nervous, anxious, a little scared courage in a bottle. Give them their kid scent, um, kid power. Something else uh, that I saw a suggestion on today, maybe your child has to do something like that, and this is a case where mommy or daddy won't be there, then put a few drops of this on a cotton ball, or maybe have them wear um, a little diffuser bracelet that fits them so that they can smell this before they give their presentation, especially if they really prefer it if mom or dad was there and instead give them kid power to help them get through it. And I thought that's a sweet thing, again, to connect their brain to kid power. I'm like, okay, I can do this. I may be on my own, but I can do this. So beautiful, beautiful oil. Um, this is also though an oil that you don't have to wait till something like that. You could start this when you get up in the morning, uh, diffusing this just to get the day started right. Again, it's an uplifting aroma. So just to get things off on the right path. Um, or in the evening, maybe you or your child has had a horrible day and you just need to unwind. Kid power is a good one. This is also a good one for relaxing. Put some in Epsom salt and take a nice soak or even for your young one if they've had a really emotionally hard day well mix them a little bubble bath and their epsom with the epsom salts and um, a few drops of kid power so it helps them unwind so there's a lot of ways you can use this i personally even love this just as a pick me up perfume you know a lot of times i'll have one sitting here near me since we're on zoom so much anymore i can just put a drop on my wrist Take a couple of deep breaths, 
um, it's a really nice scent for most of us. Okay, so that's at 250. Then if you girls didn't already know, this is what I would call the surprise. This, and not Miss Kitty, this is what you get at 300 is the feather the owl. Now I had this picture of her because I wanted to show people she absolutely loves the diffuser. And I couldn't, every time she got up on my nightstand, I never had the camera in front of me. So I took this in there and set it on the bathroom floor. This is a couple of years ago. And boy, oh boy, she went right up to it. She absolutely loves it. So let me show you a quick, let me stop sharing that screen. And then I think I have to go back and share the screen again to go to this. I, I don't know if you all remember this little commercial for Feather the Owl, but I thought I'd show it to you because it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> and I have to tell you it may be designed for children and I'm going to show you that it is but I was so excited when that came out I wanted Feather the Owl I thought he was adorable he or she whatever you want to absolutely adorable um so I have this is not Feather but it is the same owl. It's just different colors. This one, because of the white, this is the only difference is the color of it. Other than that, this is feather. Um, this one's called snowy because of the white, okay? So I wanted to show you some features of it, okay? So I have it running, of course. You can see it. Well, you may not be able to see it really well, but it's running. It has three. So this is at full blast. Everything as far as the color and the mist is controlled by the middle talons. Let me move this closer like that. So on this side, I've got the mist going, but I can hit the middle talon again and it'll slow the mist. And I know you can't see it, but it did slow it. Or I can hit it a third time right on the middle talon. And after a minute, it'll kick off. It'll do that intermittent that we're used to with a lot of the diffusers. So that's a nice feature if you want it to last the night. That's the one to do, a minute on, a minute off, okay? And then of course you can control the colors, middle talon here again. If you want no color, I just head, held down on the middle one and it went right off. And the whole reason Young Living designed it this way is not for us adults, but for the children, so that it's easy for them to just touch the middle talon and get it to where they want. There is multicolors. There's 10 different LED colors within Feather the Owl. You can do no color or you can do one of those or um, whichever one you want, okay? But the fun thing about Feather the Owl and Snowy the Owl is the ability for sound. It's, it's a diffuser that will play sound for you. Oh, you see how it went off? Where it was on a minute, off a minute, it went off. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna play the five sounds for you so that you can hear them. Let me see if I can do this. Can you hear that? Okay, if you may not be able to hear it through the computer, that's rain, that's rain. Okay, the next one. Do you hear the birds? Okay. Then we have waves crashing. I don't think you all can hear those very well, but this is the ocean coming in, crashing. This is nothing but white noise because some people prefer white noise. Um, and then the last one. 
Do you hear the music? Okay. Well, that's the five different sounds. I'm sorry you can't hear it. I don't, I'm not for sure why. It's pretty loud. But um, that's the five different sounds. Rain, birds in a jungle, white noise, ocean waves, and the lullaby. And then the other button back here is the volume. Because as soon as you click on one of the sounds, it's very, very low. And you can click up to four times more to turn it up higher. So that makes it nice. There's five different levels of volume based on how much you want at night going. So that is, I know this is snowy, but that's Feather the Owl. Feather is the, works the exact same way. There's no difference in them. Let me turn that sound off for me because it's too loud. So that is what you get at the 300 PV level. Um, is every at, at, on your loyalty order is everything we talked about. Feather the owl, kid scent, kid power, kid scent, sleepy eyes, thieves hand sanitizer, thieves spray, and then the little pouch that holds three. Now, don't forget, like I said, on top of that, whatever percentage you're at. A lot of us are at 25% back on our royalty order. Um, so then we get, if we spent the 300 PV, we'd get 75 PV back if it was exactly 300 in store credit. Uh, I wanna talk a minute about loyalty order because we still have ones that are sort of confused by it. So I, I was trying to think, how can I explain this any better? And sometimes I think because it's not, Sometimes people don't view their account as their store, okay? So let me try something else. Just forget about Young Living for a minute. Let's talk about your local grocery slash um, general merchandise store. You know, like Target, Walmart, uh, even Kroger's or Publix. Uh, a lot of times it's more than just groceries. You know, they carry detergent and, and lotion and, and toothpaste and all this, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Donna because I know she won't care if I use her. Donna walks into her local Publix and her cash register, who she always talks to, is very nice, says, Donna, did you know we have a loyalty program? Donna's like, you do? And she's like, yeah, you spend at least 50 and we're gonna give you a percentage that's gonna add up on your little receipt. And eventually, whenever you want, you're going to be able to take that credit on that receipt and go shopping in here. Now, there's a couple of things you need to know, Donna. This is only one order a month. You can come in here every day and shop all you want. But if you want the best bang for your buck, you do one order a month, your big order. And for most people, they're going to do their whole order if they can get 25% back at the grocery store, right? They're not going to go in every day and pick up a milk here and a milk there and a ham here and hamburger there. They're gonna get it all at once so they can get their 25% sitting over here for a future shopping spree. You guys, that's how Young Living works. That's what the loyalty program is. You do not have to do it. The cashier does not force Donna to do it. The cashier would look at Donna weirdly if Donna's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to get this whole big order, but I'm, I don't want you to put it on, on a loyalty. I just want to buy the product. She would look at her like Donna has lost her mind. Why wouldn't she want to get 25% back? That's how Young Living's loyalty program works. That's all it is. No one, no one is forced to do it. If people do it for a little while, but then maybe, you know, we are living in times when you know, um, inflation the way it is, or people's job security is not always great. They may lose a job for a little while, so they're tightening their belt. Then fine, you just take everything out of your cart on loyalty order. There's no more even calling Young Living or anything like that. Young Living doesn't even want to talk to you about it. I mean, they'll gladly talk to you if you want to call them, but you don't have to call them. You just take everything out of your loyalty account, your loyalty part on your Young Living account, and voila, you won't get an order that month. That's how it works. Now, your percentage will go back down uh, after a few weeks. If you don't you know, do one the following month, that's natural. It's going to go back to the 10%. But still, 
even at 10%, even if that happens, you're still better off to do it in one order and get that benefit. Because not only are you getting the percentage back, but everything we just talked about tonight is connected to a loyalty order, right? And if it's a big enough order, you're not only just getting the percentage back, but you're gonna get a little gift here or a little gift there. Um, we were just talking earlier today. Some people really, really, really are excited, obviously, about Feather the Owl. They want that owl. So they're like, okay, maybe this is the month I'm going to stock up on my supplements or I, I need my Ningxia, so let me go ahead and buy my six bottles or whatever now. That'll get me through for a few months, but that way they get that free diffuser as well. So there is a lot of benefits to the loyalty program. Um, loyalty program is 50 PV a month. In order to get percentage back, even just the basic percentage back, whether it's 10, 20, or 25, you need 50 PV a month or more, okay? Most people end up doing more when they can just because they know at 100 PV, not only are they getting their 20% back or whatever, but they're always getting something bonus from Young Living. So a lot of people do that one, but it's not required. But 50 PV will keep your loyalty program going every month so that you go from 10% after the third month and then the fourth through two years, fourth through 24th month, you get 20. And after that, you're 25 for life if you do at least 50 PV a month. And at first, when I first heard, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do that. But I quickly realized once I fell in love with the product, once I appreciated the extent Young Living goes in their research to keep things as clean and all natural plant-based as humanly possible, then it's no problem for me to do the 50 PV because I get my toothpaste here, my laundry soap, my shampoo, my conditioner, my dental floss, my dish soap, my dishwasher soap, um, our bar soap, my lotion, my makeup, our supplements, our ninksha. You see what I'm saying? My makeup. So there's always something I need each month that I'm at least going to spend the 50 PV. So that's how the loyalty program works. Again, you're not required, but it does make the most sense that even, let me give you another scenario. And I know I've mentioned this before. Maybe you're someone who doesn't order every month. You know, you wait and only do a couple of big orders a year. Please, whenever you do that, do it as a loyalty order. So at least for that month, you get the freebies. Young Living does not say, oh, you can't do that if you're going to go off the next month. No, it's Young Living's policy. If you turn in a loyalty order and it meets those criteria, you're going to get the freebies. So at least do that so that you can get products that either one, maybe you've never had and you get to try, or maybe it's products like the hand sanitizer and thief spray that I'm assuming for the last two and a half years, We've all, we're all women on here tonight. So we've all got that in our pocketbook. It's all in our purse, right? Or in our car, because we don't go anywhere in this time of cooties without our thieves hand sanitizer and thief spray. So that is what I wanted to share tonight. I hope that clears up a little bit about the loyalty for anyone who just wasn't still really sure. Hopefully that um, made a little more sense tonight. A couple other things to keep in mind. Um, this is July 1st, so the Mineral Magic Challenge started today. So if you're one of those that was joining us to do the Mineral Magic, which is your mineral essence, a drop in your glass of ice, and then a um, squirt of either the Vitality Drops or maybe you buy your own electrolyte flavor that you like, put that in there. Uh, three drops of, I recommend Tangerine Vitality. But if you prefer a different citrus vitality, please, by all means, do it and fill the rest with water and enjoy. It is a nice, refreshing drink. You wouldn't think so coming from mineral essence. However, you're in for a shock. It really is. If you've ever tasted mineral essence on its own and then tasted it in this drink, you would never know mineral essence was in there. It's amazing. And we're getting a lot of our minerals that way, which we would be lacking even our even if we eat healthy organic healthy 
the food is lacking a lot of minerals today. So try that for a month. And I'd be curious to see if you, you know, pay attention to how you feel today when you first started. And if you notice any difference, maybe in digestion or energy or anything, uh, keep track of that because we'd be curious. We don't just do this to be doing it. We do it because we want to feel better, right? So we will be anxious to know come August 1st, mm -hmm. How are you feeling? What did you notice different? Go for it, Donna. And I think what I'm going to do at the middle of the month, whoever's joining me on the challenge, uh, I'm going to have you take off a day or two. And then we were going to start up again because um, I missed my mineral, my mineral magic drink. I've been drinking it already for uh, probably a month and my, my body missed it. I was like, what did, what did I miss? Oh, I missed my drink. So I feel like it's it's really helping me. I mean, I know my Ningxia drink, my my red drink gives me uh, sustained energy, but the minerals, um, I'm 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 feeling a little differently. I, I'm not feeling tired in the afternoon where I have to where I feel like I need to take a nap, and I'm not changing anything else. I haven't started an exercise program or anything else. So I think what I'm going to do toward the middle of the month, around the fifteenth, I'm going to say, hey, everybody, stop for two days. And then we're going to start it. And I think you're going to, that's how you're going to see if it, how it's helping you. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm interested to see how that goes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Oh, so the other big thing to share with you all, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't have a ticket to the convention, well, even if you did, um, as of today, the convention items can be added to your loyalty order. Okay. So that's, uh, well, it doesn't apply to this because these are out of stock um, and we don't know that they're coming back. We heard that they weren't, but it does say on the website coming soon. So we can't rule that out, but they, they were on there this morning. But as soon as everyone's seen it, they went to town and, and added that on there. But it's so it's things like the balance complete system. If you have um, blemish prone or acne prone skin, oily skin, a teenager, there's that skin line cleanser and toner and moisturizer. We have a couple of oils, the one purpose, and then the roots and wings. Um, there is the power mill, which is currently um, out of stock, but I'd already heard it will be here um, before the month's out. Uh, it will be back here in July. And um, then we have the inner beauty collagen and the Ningxia greens. And if I'm missing something else, I apologize. Uh, a couple of new foundations, colors. Mm -hmm. I think I covered covered mm -hmm. it all. But um, yeah, so if there's some of those you were interested in, I know a lot of people were gravitating toward these oils or the collagen because we're all getting older and we, at this point in our life, I'm mean, just looking across who else on here. Uh, most of us have lost 75% of the collagen we had when we were 20 years old. Yeah. So I think we'd like to get some of that back, take care of some of the wrinkles and fine lines. Plus it's just very hydrating for your skin. Okay. Um, Ningxia greens, of course, and then the power mill. So keep that in mind when you go to do your order, you can add those now. Just click on add to loyalty order. I can't think of anything else. Can you Donna? As far as I may mean, have another announcement about next week, but can you think? Of no, I think that's it. I think that's okay. it. So next week, um, I have to help Marvin next Friday and Donna will just be returning uh, from visiting her dad out of state. So next Friday, don't count on it. If, if, if Donna decides to, if she gets home early and decides to, she'll, she'll put a message on her um, Water's Edge Instagram account, okay? so that you'll see there if she decides. But as of now, there will be no Zoom next Friday night, okay? Uh, and then we'll, Donna will be back the following Friday. I won't be on the following Friday um, because I'll be at um, Pioneer School. So I'll be too exhausted Friday evening to add that to it. So um, yeah. I and we'll let you know, we haven't decided what that week is gonna be for a class, but I'll let you all know ahead of time. Yeah, I should have asked. I, one thing I forgot: Does anyone have any questions about any of the gifts with purchase, or any of the convention items, or just anything? 
No. Oh, I do have one thing to to mention because I, you know, I don't have any pets, but I love pets, and some of you all have pets, right? It's gonna. It's Fourth of July weekend. As soon as as soon as it stops raining, it's gonna. It, they don't. It doesn't even have to stop raining before the booming starts. Peace and calming is your dog's friend. Put it in the diffuser. Put a drop on your finger. Rub your fingers together. Rub it on their ears. Okay. You're not going to drip it in. You're just going to rub it. You can also put it on the back of their neck. Um, it, it does wonders to calm them down. There's a lot of other things you can also look on the internet. Sometimes people say, have the TV on so it doesn't, because like here where I live, it sounds like bombs are going off. So uh, any of the animals around here, I, I feel bad for them. So just keep that in mind over the weekend. Good reminder. Thank you for that. It's one reason we have Miss Kitty in already this evening, because as soon as it starts going down, there'll be fireworks for the next four days in a row. Mm -hmm. One other thing, although most of us have been with Young Living for quite a while, but Sheila is rather new and maybe we just need a reminder. I was talking to someone earlier today who um, is rather new at diffusing and um, we were talking and she talked about using her diffuser and we were talking about prices and that, the price of things. And she's like, yeah, she's like, and then she said, I had 20 drops in my diffuser. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I had 20 drops in my diffuser. And I smiled and laughed with her. And I, I told her, I said, cause I know her, she's a friend. I was like, you're not made of money. Okay. So first of all, that's too many. I'm just being honest with you. That's way too many, okay? First of all, these may be plant-based, all natural, but that doesn't make them weak. These are potent, okay? Essential oils are very potent um, and 20 is way too many. I get that when we have it going, if we've had it going a few days, all of a sudden we're like, can you smell that? I don't smell it. It's there, believe me, it's there. If you were to be gone a few days and walk back in and someone had that going in your diffuser, the citrus fresh, thieves, whatever, you'd be like, oh, I smell it. That's just a natural thing that our body adapts to. What, what happens is because we're so used to synthetic, your body never, never fully adjusts to synthetic. And that's why you always can still smell the synthetic in your fabric softener, in your whatever, your detergent. But our bodies love natural products and natural smells. So it's still there. It's still working. It's still helping us sleep or the house smell good. There are times I think I don't smell this. Yet I had a friend come over that did my tile work. And she's like, <gasps> first thing she did when she walked in, she's like, I always love walking in your house. It smells so good. And I'm like, I didn't even smell the citrus fresh. I knew I had citrus fresh in, but I personally didn't smell it unless I got right up next to the diffuser. So keep that in mind. On average, most of us in a diffuser like Feather the Owl or your Desert Mist, I would say most of us probably put eight, maybe 10, maybe. Um, but no more than that. Even in my, even in my Aria, which holds probably twice the amount of water that this one does, I don't put 20 drops, even in the Aria, which is for a bigger space, bigger room, more water in there. Still, um, I, I try to keep it 10 to 12, really. And I don't say that to be, I mean, you can do what you want. It's your account. It's your money. I'm just saying, um, you don't, you don't need to do that. Uh, more isn't better, okay? Health-wise, more like that isn't better. They're very potent and you're still gonna get the benefits if you only have eight drops in there. Yes, it may not be overwhelmingly smell, but that's because your body especially is used to, for most of us, had been used to synthetic. And so it misses that hit in your face smell. But believe me, once you switch and you ditch a lot of those toxins, you will find when you smell those smells again, just walking in a store and down the aisle, 
you'll notice it immediately. We accidentally left um, a set of window rag, uh, rags I use on the window at one of Mar Marvin's jobs. I was helping. We called them and she's like, no, I haven't seen them. And then she messaged us the next night. Oh, David picked them up and put them in the washing machine. I washed them for you. I'm like, okay. So when we get there the next time and she had them out for us to get the smell from that, I'm assuming fabric softener could be detergent, but I'm guessing it's a fabric softener. Overwhelming. I've already washed them twice since then. And I can still faintly smell that synthetic smell on them. I couldn't believe it. I mean, she just washed them once. It's not like she kept putting them through the washing machine. And yet that smell stuck. So that's why I'm saying we're so used to those synthetic smells that using a diffuser takes a little bit of adjustment, but just give yourself the grace to adjust to it and realize that you don't need to use lots and lots of drops, especially of more expensive oils. You know, if I'm mixing, if I choose to put two oils in here, like Valor and Lemon, guess what Kim's going to do? I'm going to put more drops of Lemon than I am Valor. Why? Lemon will cost me, I don't know what the new price is, $13, let's say. Valor will cost me 40 Which would you use more of? Okay. And I, I love the scent, but I'm going to use a few more Lemon and not the Valor. It's just a way that you can be cost effective and yet still benefit you. So anyway, I'll get off my little high horse, but I just wanted to share that because I don't want, I, I don't want you to, to um, be going through things like that and think, man, I can't keep buying oils because I, I, I just can't buy these every month this way. Back off maybe if you're using 20 drops of oils in your diffuser, just, just back off for a while, try eight, 10 at the most and see if you still don't get the benefits, even if you don't smell it as strong. <laughs> because this, this, um, this friend, she's like, well, that may be why my pets were sneezing. Could be. They're more sensitive to smell than we are. And I can only imagine 20 drops. Of course, she didn't have them caged in, fortunately. They, they can roam and go where they want in her house. But uh, yeah, yeah. So that's my little word of wisdom today is, you don't need 20 drops. <laughs> okay, girls, that's it. Short class tonight. Uh, don't hesitate. If you have any problems or questions, reach out to one of us, me, Donna, Barb, one of us, whoever is your upline or whatever, and we will be glad to answer questions or do what we can to help, okay? So everyone have a probably a long weekend for those of you that work. So enjoy your time. Um, Enjoy your, oh, actually, let me stop this first. Let me stop recording. <laughs>